Hello everyone. As promised, we are showing you um, now how to log in and start bidding on our online auctions. First thing, you'll want to go to the search bar again and type in gathmanauction.hybid.com or hybid.com will get you there as well. Or you could go to our, our page, gathmanauction.com, to online auctions, and that will also pull up our Hybid account. We'll go back over here. So now we're going to log in. Oops. Show you how to log in here. So we'll type in our username and our password. All right, and that is, now we're type, or er, I'm sorry, now we are logged into our account. So you want to go down here, and each time you'll want to click, it'll say here, register to bid. Every auction, you will need to um, click on that option, and that gets you registered for each individual auction, even if you had a high bid account. And like I had said in the previous recording, the high bid account can be used for any any auctions, whether it's Gathman Auction or another company. So now we can go down here to either view catalog or click here to bid. Both will get you to the same spot. So we'll choose view catalog. So let's see here. If you scroll all the way down, it'll show you how many pages there are. This auction only has two pages. That's a nice, small but quality auction. Go right down here. You can click there. And I'm just going to go in and show you guys how to, to bid. So let's see. We'll go up here. Let's bid on a four-wheeler. All right. So right here is the, we'll bid on this, the Warrior. So you can either choose to watch the item. We'll do that on this one. You can choose to watch. This will place it on your watch list and you can put in a personal note, maybe a reminder or some notes you had on that item. The other way to get something onto your watch list is to place a bid. So for learning's sake, we'll go in here and place a bid on this one. Um, the current bid is at $70. So we'll go ahead here and we will put in 75. Obviously this one is increasing by $5 increments. So we can confirm our bid. Oh, it says that we've been outbid. Apparently somebody had um, put their max bid higher than that. So if you wanted to bid again, you'd go in and bid $80. But let's say that your max bid is $200. This is where you would push 200 and confirm bid. Now. I'm not going to do that because I choose not to, <laughs> to purchase this four-wheeler this time. Um, but then that would only increase the bid to, to $80. It wouldn't do $200 unless someone had placed a bid, let's say, for their max bid was $250. So then it would increase it you know, to $200. So otherwise, it would just, it would just increase by those $5 increments. All right. So now that we have placed those items on our watch list and placed a bid, we can now go up here under our name, scroll down, and go to watch list. The watch list is great as well for closing day um, because you can go down here and you can see you know, everything's laid out for you. And you also don't have to scroll through all the pages and items to find those items you were interested in. So then this also shows you the high bid. Um, so this one here, it's, you know, currently at $200. And then this one we just placed a bid on the high bid and your max bid, and it tells us we were outbid. If we were not outbid, it would come up green and it would say winning. So let's say that, you know, we've watched it a couple days or so, and we just, we really want to, we really want that four-wheeler. So we would go in there and we push the plus button, and then that's where we could, it's that easy to place another bid on that item. Okay. Like I said, this is also great for closing the day that the bidding closes because it just it really lays it out nicely there for you. 
And it'll also show you um, your winning high bid total, so what you're currently at for this auction amount-wise, and also your winning, your uh, max bid total, so what you, you know, potentially. Um, and I believe that that's the gist of it. If you want more information or have any trouble at all, we are always happy to assist. We know many of our customers, you know, are not familiar with the online bidding process or high bid in general. So give us a call and um, we, we're absolutely happy to help you in any way that we can. Um, and then obviously you can use that pull down menu to log out, um, to change your um, account information to add in payment methods, which we're not currently doing at this time, but we might be doing in the future. So, and then our logo always will get you back to our, um, our homepage here, our webpage. So, and then we always put our online auctions. We list them here under upcoming auctions. And that's this one here. Or a shortcut, like I said, is you can always click right on online auctions. So make sure to like our Facebook page and we will always update you with new auctions. So, and remember, we're, we're here to help you. All right. Thanks, guys.